Hello, it's um, July 31st, 2007, and I thought I'd do another vlog. I'm feeling a little better. I'm not 100% yet. It's kind of hard to remember the last time I was this broken up about a boy. You might recognize this little, this little girl, Hedvig. Um, she's... I got her at the movie theater. Isn't she cute? Anyhow, tried reading Harry Potter with her. Uh, it didn't go so well. No! Oh. I'm wondering if I should get a pet. Actually, I do already have a, a pet slash roommate. His name's George, and um, he is a giant spider. He is the size of my palm. And, um, he was in my entryway, and I was like, get up, get up. And I tried, like, taking a broom and getting him out, only that sucker was fast. He would just, like, chew, and, yeah. So, um, he, like, ran up to the ceiling, and I couldn't sweep him off, and he was just too fast for me, and so, um, he ran into the bathroom, and I haven't seen him since, but I've decided that his name is George and he's my new pet. Um, until he starts paying rent, um, I will be making attempts on his res residency and his life. So, um, just a warning if you're watching this, George, I don't know what kind of capabilities you have, but a spider with knees that just can't, I, I'm not going to try and predict. I went to karate, which was fun and yet very, very difficult because some of you may know that that is where I met my boyfriend and yeah, I thought I was done with crying. Apparently not. Oh my goodness, I had a th crazy weekend. I decided I needed to go drinking. Yeah. Um, and I invited a bunch of people. My American friends have kind of gone to Thailand, so yeah, it was nothing but Japanese people and me. And I should have thought about this ahead of time, that I should have kind of, I don't know, studied or something. <laughs> because I realized, you know, after the party started, I am the only English speaker in this room. And you know, I have no problem with that. That is fantastic study for me. Um, it was just a little much when everybody was talking really, really fast, and I I totally lost the conversation. So we went to an izakaya, which is kind of the Japanese version of a pub. Uh, it's They have lots of, lots of food and lots of drink, and it's where people go for nomikas, for big drinking parties. We stayed there until maybe, I don't know, one, two in the morning. Two of my friends went home. And then the the rest of us, there were four of us at that point, uh, went to a bar called Lynx, as in the cat. And um, we ended up in the loft. <laughs> there was like a second floor with not enough room to stand, but there were two tables up there. Um, so we took one of them, and then this other group took the other. Um, and. <laughs> We stayed there, singing karaoke and drinking until 7 a.m. the next morning. Yeah. The first song I sang was in Japanese. And then uh, I got a lot of requests <laughs> for English songs and ended up singing a song I really don't like. Um, you probably know it, Summer Days from Greece. Um, my voice is not compatible with Olivia Newton-John's. It's just not. Anyhow, I did a stunning, stunning rendition of Bohemian Rhapsody that was well received by the bar. It was great. It was lots of fun. A guy who works at the bar, a guy who owns the bar, I don't know, Ha-chan, er, Ha-san, Ha-san, Ka- Ka-san, Ka-chan, I don't remember. I was drunk, okay? I can't 
do names. He didn't have a business card. I gave him my business card. It's the usual thing to exchange business cards, but no, it's, it's much easier when I can see the name. So this guy was like requesting all kinds of like Queen and Greece and uh, a lot of interesting songs. And at one point, he was like down on the first floor um, singing a song and I really don't understand why but he was stripping down to his underwear for the song uh, he, I, I'm not used to that in America or Japan but you know I guess to each his own um, it was amusing I tried to take a picture <laughs> but uh, it was too dark so we stayed there till about 7 a.m. And, um, so, the four of us were me, this girl Kanae, this girl Aya, and this guy Aki. And, um, I invited everyone to my house for pancakes, because it was the morning. What else are you going to do except have pancakes at my house? My house is big. You've, you, you people have probably seen the tour. It's a big house. And now that Nakun isn't here, it's a big empty house. So... I like guests whenever I can get them. I kind of went home <laughs> and Aya and Aki came to the house and we set up the futons and I made pancakes and everybody took showers individually and um, that was... <laughs> On the way back we stopped at a kombini and Aya actually bought more beer. Now, keep in mind, we have been, we had, at this point, we have been drinking from 10 p.m. the previous night to 7 a.m. that morning. And she decides we need more beer. <sighs> yeah. I'm not even gonna say. <laughs> Anyhow. So, we set up the futons. We had some pancakes. We had some real Vermont maple syrup. Mmm, Vermont maple syrup. Gotta love the syrup. Um, we talked for a while. We played on the computer, and then around nine, we finally went to sleep. Until one. For some reason, I was the only person who showed up at Yosakoi practice, uh, practice at 6 p.m. After having woken up at one, having had four hours of sleep. I should probably tell you a little bit about last weekend, too. So, last weekend, I was hosting a party for my school. Um, usually, Eden, my boss, is the, is the host for these things. And um, <laughs> uh, she had to go to Kobe for, because her son had an English test. This was my first time on my own. I don't think I did very well. And yeah got really drunk that night because, well, with the official parties, traditionally in Kochi there are five parties, but you know, because the economy hasn't been as good recently, there, we only went to three. <laughs> so the first one was food and drinking, and the second one was drinking and karaoke, and the third one was drinking and <laughs> yakitori, which is grilled chicken. Really delicious. My favorite Japanese. And I ended up making friends at the yakitori place. And I was just totally smashed by that point. Um, so after the third party, I went to Obiamachi. The guy, Aki, who went to the party this weekend, um, he was sitting on the street because he just sits on the street like with a sign that says, um, talking and listening free. So that's how I met him because that was just after my boyfriend had left me. I ended up crying to him for a couple hours. Maybe not that long, but I did end up talking to him for a long time and crying <laughs> a lot. And he was very nice. There were other, other people came to talk to him and stuff. And like, you know, when I decided to leave around four-ish, he just stood up and said, anytime you need to talk, you can call me, which I thought was very nice. So that's why he came to the party <laughs> and crashed on my futon after eating pancakes. Yeah, I guess that's me recently. I'll uh, talk to you soon. See ya.